Notice that we've included this alpha house sign in the front yard. This is because the house in this scene is a dorm for the alpha sorority. The alpha house sign should help you remember that Clostridium perfringens produces alpha toxin. Next, notice that we've shown a bunch of dumb dumb suckers stuck in this pumpkin next to the alpha house sign. It's Halloween, so a pumpkin fits quite well with the scene, and the dum-dums are in the pumpkin because somebody vandalized it. The dum-dums look like little phospholipids, so this should help you remember that the alpha toxin is a phospholipase. Going along with the vandalism theme, notice that someone even smashed one of the pumpkins on the ground. The pumpkin is round, kind of like a cell, so the fact that it's smashed should help you remember that the alpha toxin degrades cell membranes as well as tissue. When red blood cells are exposed to the toxin, it results in hemolysis. So, smashed pumpkin for degrades tissue and cell membranes. As pumpkins are smashed, seeds naturally spew out all over the ground, so we've shown a bunch of seeds on the ground next to the smashed pumpkin. In our other videos, we've used things with an outer shell to represent spores, but because seeds have a hard outer coat and pumpkin seeds go well with this story, we thought we'd use them in this image to help you remember that Clostridium perfringens is a spore-forming organism. So, pumpkin seeds for spore-forming. As the seeds became exposed, a nearby crow decided to take advantage of this opportunity. He flew down on the ground and began eating the seeds, just as any bird might do in this situation. Crows are good Halloween symbols, and the fact that he's eating the seeds from this smashed pumpkin seems to fit the story quite nicely. The crow here is to help you remember that Clostridium perfringens can cause myonecrosis. Crow sounds kind of like myonecrosis, so this shouldn't be too hard to remember. Myonecrosis is characterized by injury to muscle tissue, resulting in muscle tissue death. So, crow eating seeds for myonecrosis. Okay, now let's get to the bottom of the person responsible for all this unacceptable vandalism. 